The reason why I like selenium so much is you guys hear me talk about precision uh, a diagnostic test. And I, I do a, a, a buccal swab a, a, or a spit saliva test that measures your genetics. And it tells you the action steps that you should take. Well, one of the genes that measures is your body's ability to absorb and use selenium. If we're deficient in selenium, we know that it can completely eradicate the immune system from functioning properly. In fact, selenium is one of the nutrients that we can legally claim that if you're deficient in that, you have a higher risk of developing cancers. And therefore, that people who do have cancer should take selenium for the immune system properties. Cancer is an immune system problem about 90, maybe 85 to 90% of the time, it's an immune system issue. So selenium is a massive, massive important nutrient to take as well. And then the next one, last one of the top seven is zinc. By the way, I like zinc in either a chelated form or a zinc gluconate type of a form because it's easier to absorb. It breaks down. If you take a zinc supplement and your stomach gets upset, you get like, you know, nauseousness, you get a, a wheezy, a, a, a upset, uneasy stomach, then, then that's a problem. It's the wrong kind of, of uh, zinc. Um, and how much zinc should you take? Most adults can do around 25 to 50 milligrams a day.